Hello and welcome. My name's Marie and this is my knitting journey. Today I am doing a bit of a different video. I thought I would um, do a roundup of the um, knitting podcasters that I watch. Um, when I first started getting back into knitting, just over a year and a half ago now, um, there was lots of new things to learn. I didn't know anything about Ravelry or, you know, Instagram knitting community or the YouTubers that were doing podcasts. Um, yeah, so I didn't know anything about knitting podcasts. I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, and um, it was really nice when I'd found some really good channels that I wanted to watch over and over again. Now, doing my research for this and looking through my subscription list, I've got over a hundred um, knitting um, content producers on my um, on my subscription list. So there must be thousands of them because I'm sure there's lots that I've not uh, found yet. So if you've got um, a favourite that you want to suggest and I've not uh, mentioned them here, um, obviously put them down in the comments. This is just my personal opinion. It's just the channels that I love going to. A lot of them you'll probably have heard of but there might be the odd one or two that you find and like. Um, so I just thought it would be useful, um, you know, to um, let you know what I'm watching while knitting. So without further ado, the first one, well, I've got my iPad here just so that I can refer to each of the, the channels as I'm talking about them. I've made a list. Um, I've got 14 that I've picked, my top 14. I couldn't narrow it down to 10. It just wouldn't have done, done them justice. Um, and I would have had to miss a few out that I really wanted to mention. Uh, most of them I've been watching for quite some time. A few, uh, uh, two or three I think have been recent-ish discoveries or newer channels that have not long started. Um, what I was surprised about before we get into it, sorry, a bit of a tangent, um, was how many of the channels that I've subscribed to have sort of disappeared. As in, not disappeared, as in the person's no longer posting, which is such a shame. Ones that I really liked. Um, so I hope some of them do come back. Um, I know life can get in the way. Okay, so shall we start now with number one? My um, absolute, and these aren't in any order, but this one that I'm going to mention now um, and it'll probably be no surprise to you if you do watch my podcast is The Woolly Worker, Vinicia. I absolutely love watching her podcast or actually any video that she puts out because I just enjoy them all. I find that she's very, very detailed with the projects, which is so helpful, um, you know, especially when I was back, because I think I started watching her, she's had her channel for just over a year. And I think I started watching it because I've, I've seen the grey grey sweater that she has in her second ever podcast. So I think I started watching it right around the beginning. Um, what I've always liked about her is she's pretty consistent with videos as well, which, which makes a big difference, I think, because I think um, it's quite easy to run out. Well, I find it is sometimes of, of content to watch, although I do notice... Um, more recently than I am um, knitting without a podcast on, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, I found along my journey of being back into knitting that I soon ran out or I ran out of, um, you know, videos that I really wanted to watch. Um, but Vinicia was always or has always been pretty consistent with videos. Um, she had the odd break here and there, but there's generally been a podcast or some sort of video most weeks, which is fantastic. Um, it takes a lot of time and effort, as I now know, to put the videos together and to think of ideas of videos if you're not doing a podcast. 
Um, and I just find her, um, some of the topics she's covered have really resonated with me. Um, she's been quite open and honest in her knit and chats. Uh, she lives in the UK too, in Scotland, which means that when she does mention hand dyers, yarn brands um, or festivals that she's been to, they're often ones that are within my reach to um, do or or purchase if I like them. Um, she's very thorough with the patterns. She has really thorough notes on Ravelry. And also I've learned quite a lot from her about Ravelry itself and how to use it. But overall, yeah, she's definitely my favorite favorite um, knitting YouTuber. Um, I, just, I just really, really like what she puts out and I'd highly recommend that if you're not watching her, go and watch her. Um, not that she needs my promotion in any way, because <laughs> she's a very popular. Um, okay, so number two on my list. Um, oh, and I did meet um, Vanessa actually, very briefly, um, at the Woolly Good Gathering in April, which was nice. And I also met the um, one I'm going to mention now was my number two. And she, um, we also got to chat to Marlene, it's Marlene Knit. Um, and we also got to chat to her for quite a bit on the Sunday morning uh, as we were looking for our last bits of um, purchases, which was really nice. Uh, both of them were, were lovely. Um, so number two in my list um, of knitting podcasts is Marlene Knits. Now, what I like about Marlene is she has a beautiful aesthetic to her videos, a wonderful um, colour palette, although it's not necessarily, doesn't necessarily match with um, my aesthetic. Um, I really, really um, enjoy watching her content. Um, it's always very calm, um, soothing, relaxing while knitting. Um, she puts out um, a lot of videos as well about her, what I'd say is um, travelling to knitting events. Um, and now obviously she's working in a yarn shop and she's in um, Germany. So I really, really like her content. But again, if I'm watching someone abroad often, um, I can't. But I can't necessarily easily get hold of the yarns and stuff that, that they use. But um, her, her, her knitting is lovely. She also does um, really nice vlogs or vlog parts to her videos, which I really enjoy. She's very, very good at, at making vlogs. And um, especially when she does goes on her travels as well. And she does bits of food content. Oh, and lots of shots of coffee at coffee bars, which, which I appreciate. Okay, now, um, I'm, sorry, I'm looking down here because I've just got my piece of paper here with my list on. Um, and the third one that I'm going to mention is Good Knits. And that's a new new one to me. But I really, really like her content and I've been I've been watching all her videos as they've come out recently. She's called Sherry and she um, lives in Amsterdam. I think she's originally from Canada and she's moved to Amsterdam with her husband. Uh, and she does some lovely, lovely knits. She's very, very, very um, talented knitter. Lots of lovely content. A lot of the garments she makes are garments that I would like to make. So it's nice watching her um, do it. She just did a um, video on the Milady's dress. If you're interested in making a knitted dress. And hers turned out beautifully. Um, despite the ups and downs she had with that project. Um, she's quite. Um, she seems to be quite honest as well with her um reviews of certain um, pattern writing styles and um, things like that uh, and she does yeah she puts out some really good content and just things like the summer tops she wants to knit she wants them to be bra friendly which is something I want and um, you know the styles that she picks are ones that 
I like as well. And she, she does tend to go for a more muted palette. Um, but a lot of her items are going to be wardrobe staples, I would have thought. Okay. So, number four on my list. And I have no doubt that you will have heard of this. And it's the Crea Bayer Knitting Podcast. And that is Rebecca Clo, and she's a, a knitwear designer and YouTuber. Um, and she um, designs a lot of patterns that are just literally simple to knit, wardrobe staples that we all love knitting over and over again. I've been watching her podcast for quite a long time. I think she was one of the first few that I came across last year when I first um, started looking at knitting podcasts and found that it was a thing. What I like about her um, videos is she's very, very um, upbeat and um, uh, bubbly and she's got a lot to say. She always has lots on her needles. Generally, they are all her... <coughs> excuse me. Generally, they're all her um, patterns, but it really gives you a good idea of, um, you know, what what they're like um, knitted up before she releases them. So you get like, um, it's like a preview to the patterns because you see her working on them and you see her making tweaks here and there and discussing what she's doing. You know, you get a real good insight into what's coming up. Um, I think she's got like the next 12 months or so planned out and she discussed most of that on her channel. So that's really interesting to know. And yeah, you, you do get a bit of um, live talk and, and chat in hers as well, which is nice. Okay, number five on my list is uh, Michaela, which is Stitches, Stitches in STEM. And I think she is in Northern Ireland. Oh, she's in Ireland somewhere. I don't know if it's Northern, actually. Um, she's a relatively new um, knitting YouTuber. She's only um, been going about three months. But I have pretty much watched every one of her videos. Um, I really like how she's quite um, thorough in her details. Um, she normally has um, a handful of projects and she goes in, in depth into those um, and she's just nice to listen to um, while knitting. She's just done a shawl as well with some um, some yarn that, and I don't know how easy it is actually for us. To, I know we must be able to get a hedgehog fibre so I'm presuming that um, we can get stuff from Ellen quite easily. Um, but I'm not sure on the postage or anything like that to the UK. But she just made a, um, I think it was a Bertie's Unite, I can't even say that, a Stephen West shawl pattern. Um, and she made it in this um, hand-dyed kingfisher yarn. And the colours were so beautiful. It was really nice. But yeah, I've been enjoying hers and it's a newer one that I've found. <clears throat> Okay, and number six is another one that you'll probably all know about because she also is a knitwear designer and it's handmade by Florence and Florence's videos are um, really nice because she's very, very, she has a certain colour palette that she likes and sticks to as well which is not necessarily my colour palette, but the actual garments that she makes, um, I really, really appreciate and enjoy. And she's a very talented knitter. All her stuff turns out, it just looks immaculate. It's really beautiful. And she's done a few patterns. And she's also done a few that are very beginner friendly. And she's done videos on YouTube for those, which is um, really good. I've actually got on my needles one of her patterns at the moment and it is the Petal Drop Socks. Um, but yeah, she's been doing uh, recently some of the, um, I think the Swedish um, colour work patterns. 
that are from the Olympics and they are very very um, accomplished and I mean she she the way she if you haven't watched the video with her doing that I'd highly recommend you watch that because honestly the colour work she says it's easy but I mean the colour work is amazing and then she's doing a seamed garment steaking and um, and then she's adjusting all the sizes to to fit her yeah blows my mind a bit that one I don't think I'm at the level where I'm I'm ready to tackle something quite that epic but yeah like I say it's really nice hearing about all her patterns and um, yeah she does do a, a, you know the the beginner stuff so if you are new starting out uh, I think she's done a beginner's sweater step by step she's done a beginner's cardigan step by step so if you are wanting to dip your toe into starting garments I'd recommend that you have a look at those videos as well okay number seven on my list um, is Summer Lee uh, designs and um, she is a sock knitting designer if you don't know of her and um, I only discovered her channel quite recently although I've been aware of her patterns for longer I have quite well I had quite a few in my list I've bought a few of her patterns although I'm not sure if I've actually made any yet but I have got the um, sock book that she brought out oh I know which socks I made of hers she did a um, video on her channel which was the um, a pair of faded shorty socks and I used leftovers to make those and the instructions were brilliant um, and I'm really really pleased with how they turned out now I haven't started any from her book yet and I have got a few patterns in my Ravelry that I've bought of hers which I haven't yet done um, but what I'm going to do is uh, hopefully once I've got a couple of um, the socks off my needles that I've got on there at the moment I'm going to um, start knitting some from her book and I uh, will do a follow along video I was thinking if that's something you're interested in I thought I could um, maybe start with doing a vanilla sock because I do want to get the sock fit better for me I've um, found what works for my partner with my gauge and with his foot size and he's good with a 64 stitch um, oh, and I knit that on magic loop on a 2.25 millimeter and he's happy with that so um, I, I, and I know how many rounds I need to do now on his foot and his leg um, but for some reason for myself I'm not quite the now whether it's I think it might be my insteps higher than his um, because sometimes if I do just a standard 64 on a 2.25 I do get a little bit of stretching over the top of my foot uh, which I'm not keen on um, but that's a bit of a side note isn't it really um, but yeah I just thought that um, if I started from the beginning uh, doing a pair of socks for myself um, like a vanilla sock she has a couple of different ones you can try with different heels do a few of them, knit them and then once I've got my fit sort of right I can do some of the patterns and you can follow along if you'd like. No idea when I'll be doing that mind you, probably um, more like August time. I've got quite a few things to be cracking on with at the moment. Um, but yeah, Summer Lee Design, uh, her channel is great. She does quite a few um, helpful tutorials. She often um, does a, knits a pattern in a video and you follow along while she's knitting the pattern and then she'll either release it or if it's one of her older designs she'll um, and she'll do a discount on whatever pattern that is which is really good. So I think one that she did, oh she did some um, dotty socks which turned out really nice, a pale blue with um, dots that were half one colour, half another colour. It's another thing you see, a lot of her socks use up leftovers but in a put together way, which I really, really like. And I like the, the fun element of her her socks as well. 
But to be fair, she is just funny. Her videos are really funny to watch. She did do the mermaid socks um, and they turned out really nice as well. She did them um, not long ago. And she's got quite a lot of videos, so if you haven't watched any of hers, I, I recommend you go and do that. Okay, so the next um, one that I want to uh, mention is and now I'm really sorry I'm not sure how to pronounce um, her her channel name I think it's Jord Bear um, and it's spelled J-O-R-D-B-A-E-R knits and hers is quite a newish channel she's only been on doing videos for about six months um, I just find her quite, she's really pleasant to listen to, um, she's got a really warm vibe um, and I I'm, do enjoy the um, pattern she knits as well. She's just done a, a beautiful blue vest, she's quite honest as well with, um, with what she's doing. But yeah, quite a new one. Okay, and the next one I'm sure you'll be aware of already, which is High Fibre Knits. I really enjoy um, watching her. She's very upbeat, very easy to listen to. Um, I think the fact that she is a teacher um, means that her delivery always seems to be quite good um, she looks into things quite a bit as well and she does a lot of um, seasonal um, colour story type videos which I always enjoy watching um, and she does go for pops of colour as well which is really nice um, she's just very fun to watch um, she has lots, she's been going for ages, she had lots of content on her channel. Um, yeah. That's another one though that's um, not in the UK. Oh, she's in Canada, um, High Fibre Knits. She's um, very good at um, putting her knits together in a very, um, mo I'd say, modern way. Uh, her style isn't the same as mine, but a lot of the garments that she knits, I do really, really enjoy. Just the way she puts them together will be too modern for me, but I do um, admire her style and, and um, you know, the way she puts her outfits together. It obviously brings her a lot of joy. Oh, one minute. Sorry about that interruption. I just had a delivery, um, and if the camera angle has moved or changed apologies for that i had to move the seat when i opened the door trying to get lighting a good angle for lighting in this room is a very difficult especially as it's so gloomy in the uk right now okay so number 10 on my list is where is uh, katie cho now um, I've only just discovered this channel but I wanted to mention it because I really really enjoyed the first video of hers that I watched. Um, she has been going for about six months and there is a, a good few videos on her channel. I just really really liked um, what she'd knit um, and the way she was talking about her knits and it was just something something really nice about her vibe and everything so I thought I'd mention it here it is a new one but I will definitely watch more of her her videos um, her knits look look lovely as well okay and number 11 is um, craft house magic now Ellie who does craft house magic also is a um, yarn dyer and a um, project bag maker and she has an online store 
and I just find Ellie's videos so much fun. I mean, I've even watched her sewing content and I can't, I don't really do sewing, but she's just so bubbly, positive and full of energy and um, she's very uplifting when you watch her. It's definitely someone to put on if you're not... If you're not feeling your usual bubbly self, I'm sure she'd help bring you back to it. Um, and she releases some patterns. Um, like I say, she's a yarn dyer. She has a, a website. I have one of her, her project bags and it's lovely. Um, yeah, highly recommend, recommend her if you want to um, be in a feel good mood. And she does do actually a lot of projects where she's using up her um, scraps and leftovers at the moment. So if you've got a load of leftovers that you're looking to use up, you'll get some great ideas from, from her. She's done a um, couple of different crochet blankets, if you do crochet. She did a um, knitted cowl um, and shawl, I think it was. So yeah, definitely worth, worth um, looking at her channel. And then number 12 is Emma Robinson. Now she is a hand dyer. Um, and a knitter obviously. She's just been, she's been actually, at the. I really, really like her vibe, the aesthetic. She's into her gardening. Um, there's lots of other life elements that come in, into her video. She does quite a few um, things and she is um, a dyer and I think all her yarns are uh, naturally dyed. She's just built a um, dye studio at a house, a big one. Um, so yeah, there's lots of that sort of life vloggy content, which if you like those types of channels, it's really good. Um, and you know, a lot of knitting too. Uh, but she just seems a lovely, lovely, lovely person. Okay, and um, number 13 is uh, Laura Penrose. Laura Penrose is again, another one of my um, favorites. I do tend to watch every single one of her videos and I am actually a member of her Patreon. Um, she hasn't done her, because uh, she last year she did um, Blogmas in July, which I thoroughly enjoyed. I really, really like it when she does um, her regular vlogs, because I find her vlogs are very, very good. She's really uh, talented at creating content, that's for sure. They're always a pleasure to watch, no matter what she's talking about, to be fair. Recently, she's added bits of food content. She's um, She does show a bit with her children, what she's getting up to. Um, and she is a knitwear designer, if you've not heard of her. She's brought out some lovely patterns, some really, um, like a sweet shop blanket. And um, she's got garments. She's in the process of um, doing a colour work one at the moment because she's um, did the Maxine hot water bottle pattern which I think was very very popular and she is now doing a sweater with that same design but her videos um, are often quite real the I find them to be very upbeat and very um, uplifting but there are um, you know times where she's very very real and she will say when she's not feeling herself etc etc but I don't know she just it's so good at doing videos it's very nice to knit along with and I, I like I say I do watch every one of her videos when they come out and the last one that I wanted to mention is um, Giddy Yarns uh, or Giddy Knits where is it oh yeah Giddy Knits and that is Helen from Giddy Yarns and it's her knitting podcast. Um, she's very pretty regular with her content. Um, her videos are always a good length. She has lots of projects to talk about. She has a Discord channel 
um, that you can all get involved in. A Patreon where she does a book club and um, monthly prizes and she does a knit and natter. So yeah, there's quite a lot of content to go through on her channel. It's very I really enjoy watching her um, dye studio vlogs. And she's just got a, a, a studio rather than having her dye studio at her home. It's been interesting to watch that journey with her. Um, yeah, and she's um, she does a lot of varied projects. Um, so yeah, it's good to watch. And like I say, go and check out her, um, her website. Her hand-dyed yarn is really, really good. I mean, I've knitted a few things from hers and I've got some of her yarn in stash. Um, I find her speckled yarns and variegated yarns very, very consistent from what I've knit with them so far. And that's it. That's the 14 that I wanted to talk to you about. So I hope you found that interesting. Um, like I say, I've got close to 100 on my list, but they're the main ones that I tend to look for. Or if it pops up that they've um, got a video out, I go and have a look what it's about. Um, one bonus one that I wanted to um, just briefly talk about because she really doesn't need my um, my promotion what, one little bit um, she's a massive channel now but I, I um, started watching uh, Becky a long long time ago not uh, quite early in her uh, YouTube journey and it is um, Acre Homestead. Now, you may not be into this one little bit, but if you are like me, um, I was watching her way before I started back knitting. And um, she is just a really lovely, genuine, nice, feel good person to watch. And basically, it's just been their homestead journey from the first homestead, which had an acre of land, which obviously why the channel's called Acre Homestead. And now they've bought their dream homestead. Um, and they've not long had a, a little boy. Um, and it's just their journey. And she does lots and lots of meal prep, cooking, use, growing your own produce, she has a massive um, 20 bed uh, like veg plot allotment, whatever you want to call it, in on her property now. Uh, and it's her journey of um, tending to the land and doing all that and um, uh, life journey and also the meal prep. Now I've made her, I don't know if you're into cooking at all, and I know this is a knitting channel, but I just thought this would be interesting to people. If you're into batch cooking or um, cooking in any way, shape or form, some of her recipes are absolutely delicious and most of them I've done, they've just turned out every time. So I've made her chick... Oh! Thankfully I didn't break my iPad there. So I've made a few of her recipes, stroganoff. Um, I make her... use her recipe for making uh, freezable pizza dough which is so handy just to make a double batch, stick it in the freezer and you've got pizzas for the kids for ages. Um, uh, stroganoff's delicious, a chicken tikka um, is fantastic, yeah. Uh, oh, and lots of her cookie recipes, especially the ginger ones. So if that is your thing as well, that's just an extra bonus. I've done plenty of knitting while watching her content um, and, you know, giving me ideas for book cooking and meal planning. So I don't think there was anything else that I wanted to um, say today, but I hope you enjoyed that um, roundup. Not sure how long this video was. Um, I've got a few ideas uh, coming up for different videos. Um, but if you've got any ideas of, of videos you'd like me to do, um, then please do um, put that in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Enjoy your knitting. Bye.